How do you teach a genius calculus when you barely passed algebra? That's the challenge we're facing with super intelligent AI. And weak to strong generalization might just be the answer. What exactly is weak to strong generalization? It's a research direction that explores whether we can use less capable AI models, the weak supervisors, to effectively steer and control more powerful ones, the strong models. Let's break it down with an analogy. Imagine you're a novice chef, and your task is to somehow steer a Michelin-starred chef towards creating a gourmet dish that you know how to make. You might not know all their techniques, but your ideas could still lead to a mouth-watering result from the Michelin star chef. That's the essence of weak to strong generalization. Now think about this in the context of AI. As we inch closer to super intelligent machines, humans become the weak supervisors. Our challenge is to figure out how to trust and control AI systems that may one day be light years ahead of us in intelligence. But here's the exciting part. We've made strides. By applying this concept to language models, researchers found that the strong AI model, when guided by a weaker one, can perform tasks closer to its full potential. This breakthrough isn't the end. It's a starting point. There's more to explore, fine-tuning the approach, addressing challenges, and ensuring this concept scales to more and more capable models. That said, Weak to strong generalization might just be a key to ensuring that super intelligent AI remains safe and beneficial to humanity.